Hey everybody, it's Jason with Parallel Reality coming back with here today with an article from the Daily Signal from August 6th, and it says the left makes 1984 its playbook for 2024. And I always thought that the articles like these I always want to check out because, well, look at the little subheading of my channel in my little couple second intro at the beginning and you'll understand why, uh, just because of the way our society is these days and what a what an image though, I just want to do uh, keep it on here for a second. Anyway, let's get into it. It says the book 1984 is supposed to be a warning. Today's leftists are using as using it as an instruction manual. When everybody's seen that meme before of just ex saying exactly that, like guys, this wasn't supposed to be an instruction manual of what to do. So, this George Orwell's classic novel is set in a dystopian world where Big Brother controls the population through information, control, and surveillance, and see if any of this sounds familiar. This doublethink means the power of holding two contradictory beliefs in one's mind simultaneously and accepting both of them. And I'd recommend right now as I'm scrolling down, if you haven't read 1984, you should. It's only like a 320-something page book, so it's not like hugely long or anything. And I actually read it for the first time only like maybe five years ago. Um, so it, it's absolutely worth it. So definitely highly recommend it. Because during her career, especially when running for president in 2020, Kamala Harris took some radical positions. She praised efforts to defund the police. She once insinuated U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement, or ICE, was comparable to the Ku Klux Klan, suggested the agency should be revealed from scratch. And that's because, as I think you're all of you smart people out there listening to this, know that Kamala is an idiot. Or, and that's being probably insulting to idiots to call her that. But there you go. It says, Harris also wanted to decriminalize border crossings. She co-sponsored the Green New Deal. She supported a mandatory gun buyback program, eliminating private insurance and paying reparations. She was in favor of banning fracking and plastic straws. So basically, she wants every single far-left uh, policy imaginable. And there's, like, no in-between on those. Like, all the worst things that could be asked for, she, she is in, uh, in support of. So says, those policies play great in San Francisco, but not in battleground states. Not to worry, Harris has flip-flopped on at least five major policy positions since becoming the Democrats' presumptive nominee. It says, instead of exposing this duplicity, the national mainstream media is participating in it. Yeah, like a month ago, from the time you're listening to this, the, um, the media was all like basically calling her crap and... You know, how is Biden going, like, if he has to step down, like, how is she going to take over? And then all of a sudden, they flipped on a dime, and they're like, she's the greatest human being that's ever existed. You know, like, she's uh, Jesus and Charlemagne and, you know, all these other people wrapped into one. Like, all the greatest people ever. You know, and you're just like, really, folks? So it says, Harris is calibrating her policy pitch for going to battle with Trump, but the Associated Press wrote about her reversals. It says, if the party could thrust its hand into the past and say of this or that event, it never happened, that, surely, was more terrifying than mere torture and death. As the attempted assassination of Donald Trump happened just over three weeks ago. The iconic photo of a bloody Trump defiantly standing and pumping his fist went viral, and that was what we saw at the very beginning, the picture at the head of the article. It says, outside of conservative sites and social media accounts, though, it's barely been seen since. Yeah, you really haven't heard anything about it since it happened. Like, a presidential candidate, and also former president, was almost murdered live on TV, and the press is just kind of shrugging at it now, like, oh, yeah, that. Yeah, okay, anyway. So it says, the national media has largely, largely moved on, eager to fluff up Harris. That is true. So less than two weeks ago, pro-Hamas rioters stormed Washington, D.C. to protest Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's speech to Congress. They tore down U.S. flags outside Union Station and raised Palestinian flags. They burned American flags, vandalized monuments, and assaulted U.S. Park Police. Charges against some of the few arrested already have been dropped. Yes, because that's what you want to do is enable bad behavior, but that's what communists do. This is an easy prediction. You'll hear less about these two stories than Trump's out-of-context bloodbath remark and January 6th. Yep, that's true. They keep trying to bring those two things up. You need to stop at this point. It's events like that. Uh, it says it's like events that would make Trump look heroic and hurt the left never happened. Right. So it says every record has been destroyed or falsified, every book rewritten. It says you can see this happening in real time. Last week, the author googled Trump rally, and the top result was Kamala Harris rally in Atlanta, and the same thing happened to Elon Musk and many others. Yeah, I saw Elon did that on X, and he showed it as well, but yeah. So, um, recently, Meta AI refused to acknowledge that Trump was almost assassinated, and Meta is the parent company of Facebook, and I wouldn't trust anything, any kind of information coming from them. So, the inaccurate labeled a fist-pumping photo of a bloody Trump is altered. 
when people use Google to search for information on Trump's attempted assassination, its autofill function wouldn't suggest his name. Both companies claim they weren't trying to rig results. Bullshit. Says those excuses would be more believable if almost all mistakes like this didn't go in the same direction. Right. Yeah, it's, it, it never happens when it's somebody on the left, but it always happens when it's somebody on the right. They're like, nah, it wasn't intentional. It's like, well, yeah, of course it was. <laughs> like, guys, just just admit that it was. And instead of us being like, we know you're lying, we're just going to be like, well, yeah, of course, we knew that already. So it says, don't you see that the whole aim of Newspeak is to narrow the range of thought? In the end, we shall make thought crime literally impossible because there will be no words in which to express it. It says, illegal aliens are merely undocumented migrants, men who claim to be women or women, people voting for Donald Trump are a threat to democracy. It says, ramming scissors into the skull of an eight-month-old preborn baby and sucking her brains out is health care. Israel is the oppressor for defending itself against genocidal terrorists. Diversity requires ideological conformity. Says the year 2024 looks a lot like 1984, but you get to help write the ending. Choose wisely. And the right ending would be electing this man right here. Otherwise, this BS is going to continue. It's probably still going to continue under him, but to a far lesser degree. But uh, I'd rather have him in charge than uh, Kamala, because otherwise we are in deep, deep doo-doo, folks. So let me know what you think about this in the comments below. Like, share, subscribe, and I will talk to you soon.